Welcome fellow moon cats. This is the daily card reading for June 16th, 2023. We're approaching Father's Day weekend, so I hope everyone has some lovely plans to connect um, with family over this weekend. I'm going to go ahead and pull the card for the day. Uh, if you would prefer to skip ahead in the reading, you can do that by using the timestamps in the video. The card of the day is the Seven of Pentacles, and immediately there's a couple of different ways or a couple of different interpretations that I'm receiving for the card. So I'm going to talk about both of those. Uh, but first, I just want to mention how funny it is for this card to come up because I mentioned it in the very last reading, in yesterday's reading. Uh, when we received the Nine of Pentacles, I was talking about... Um, building the, uh, planting the crops and then, and then the bountiful harvest. So the seven of pentacles, and this is the first, uh, interpretation I'm going to look at because we have been this month talking a lot about getting that creative force going, getting that energy, bringing that divine energy in, that's going to move us forward and help us to create uh, and manifest in the world what it is that we want to do. So this is fulfilling your your life purpose. This is This is about, this month in particular is about what you want to do in the world. So it's just you yourself in the world and what do you want to create um so the seven of pentacles means that we're hard at work we're hard at work um earning the money or planting the seeds in the garden and we're at the labor intensive part of earning that money. So now we're putting in the work. We're putting in the work. We know we're heading towards that nine of pentacles as we, we got that message before. We know that this hard work that we're doing is going to have, a uh, a beautiful reward that's coming in. And so th this is the time for the grind to do the work. Now, the other interpretation that I'm getting off this card is because of the special holiday that's coming up uh, here in the USA and because of, of uh, the fact that pinnacles don't have to mean money. In fact, they actually do indicate uh, spiritual energy and especially in connection with that earth element or um, that grounding force, uh, grounding in a good way, <laughs> grounding as in centering um, and and um, being deeply rooted. And so if we're looking at this as an energy and we're looking at the context of 
uh, Father's Day and looking at the um, the work. This is just about um, all, we're also looking at putting in the work in a relationship, uh, putting in the energy and the time and whatever conversation may need to happen for a relationship to be um, also heading towards that that nine of pentacles moment where uh, it's now secure and bountiful and a beautiful blossoming thing. Now, I have been encouraging people to journal with the daily card readings. I think journaling is a good thing to do. I know it's hard for people to find the time, but if you are journaling along, then I would suggest uh, today to really put that focus on, um, you know, getting getting the into the work part of whatever it is that you're manifesting. So let's make some actual plans and see those plans through uh, for what are the next steps to take uh, in what it is that you're trying to build or make or create. Also in the journal, take a little time to think about your relationship with your father or a positive father figure in your life. And I think it's good on Father's Day to honor those who have been father figures, too, um, even if they're not blood uh, family, even if they're not biological, then fathers. I mean, there are um, those, those who may fill that role in your life. So take a little time in your journal today to also consider that relationship with those who have been there for you, with those who have been there for you in a positive way. Thinking about that positive influence, if it's your biological father or if it is a father figure, then um, just making a list of, a grad, of gratitude and appreciation of the things that, acknowledging the things that they've done, to support you and help you and guide you and um, maybe thinking about a way to put all that into a nice and lovely card to send or a small gift with a note. That concludes the reading for today and I hope that you are enjoying these readings. If you are, then um, please hit that like button. Or you may consider subscribing to my channel where there's going to be lots of different content coming up. And uh, uh, some interesting new things that's, I'm going to be starting this month as well. Most of all, I'm so glad that you stopped by today. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to catch you again in another reading.